So in this quick video, I'm going to show you how to replace the Skyray King's button with a latching button. And that means it stays on and then turns off. The button in there right now is momentary. So the driver in there cycles through off, high, medium, and low. When you press it, once you let go, that's when the action takes place. So if you let go, it goes to high, medium, low, and off. And at any point in time, if you hold this for three seconds, it'll go into strobe. Even if it's on, you can hold it for three seconds. It doesn't have a memory mode. By adding in the 105D driver and the latching switch, you can go and get some memory mode. So then you can turn on high when you want high, or get to low when you want to have low. And then you can go to a group with an SOS and strobe if you want to. But if you don't use those modes usually, you can just leave it on high, medium, and low. So if I'm camping, I'm going to put it on low, and I'm always going to go back to low. And when using low, I don't want to be seeing flickering. That's pretty annoying. So it's going to be nice to have the 105D in there controlling my MOSFETs. It's going to be a good upgrade to the Skyray King. So the Convoy S2 Plus has the same 105D driver in there, and that's what makes it so great because it has high pulse width modulation, high dimming. So it can go to 5% like this, and it doesn't really flicker too much. It's still not a super high frequency, but it'll do. You don't see any motion if you're looking at fans and stuff, and that's what's important because you could cut your finger off if you're looking at fans with a flashlight and it stops the motion. So using this flashlight with a low frequency, you can see that the fan sort of stops, and that's dangerous because you'll think it stopped, stick your finger in there, and you'll get hurt. With the high frequency dimming, you can see that the fan shows up properly and doesn't turn into one image or anything. So it's a lot safer to use a high frequency light and that's what the 105D driver gives you. So I'm going to put this switch in there and power the 105D driver on and off. I'm going to switch the negative because the body is negative so it's safer to switch the negative. If you switch the positive it's dangerous because you can short the positive to the housing and that's not good. You'll burn stuff up. And since I'm switching the negative to the driver, the 105D's gate trigger is going to stay on when it's off. And so you've got to switch the gate trigger as well. And the switch has two sides of contact, so I'm going to switch the negative on one side and the gate trigger on the other. One set of these contacts turns on when you press down and then stays on. One set of the contacts doesn't turn on when you just press down momentarily. Don't use that set of contacts because if you have it turn on when you press halfway down, then you get to cycle through the modes you want. And then when you get to the mode you want, you press it down to latch it in that mode. So that's the way I'm going to make it work. So test which contacts close when you just press down halfway. So this side of contacts closes when you just press down halfway. So that's how we're going to set up this switch. And the hole in the sky ray is just big enough so that if you grind down halfway on each corner, then it fits in there snugly and doesn't go further in and doesn't come out. Once you get that switch in, I'm going to take the rubber off one of these, cut it around the edge, and then just glue it right on top of it. So it's going to act like a tail switch latching button, except that it turns on when you press halfway. So you can get to the mood you want and then latch it in place. You can get the rubber off any flashlight you want. Green, orange, black, doesn't really matter. I'm going to glue it in place with free sole, but any urethane glue will probably hold it in place. This is probably one of the best glues out there and you can rebuild shoe soles with it, so it's pretty tough stuff. So to give you a quick idea of what I'm doing, I'm adding the 105D driver, switching the negative, like I said, with the switch. So if you solder off the gate trigger, which is the right pin of the 7135 current limiter, you can come over to your switch, switch that on and off, go to the bimetallic switch, which will switch it off if it overheats over 90 degrees Celsius, and that goes to the gate trigger of your two high current MOSFETs, 50 amp MOSFETs there, the 8878. Once you set that up, you'll have memory mode and two groups based on the 105D driver, just like the Convoy S2 Plus. The 105D is also a programmable driver. It has the ATtiny13A in there. So if you can program your own drivers, you can even make it a 1% mode. So 70 hours instead of 14. So all I did was connect the positive power straight to the positive, took the spring off, and I connected the negative to the switch and then the other negative side connects to the negative of the driver. So every time you click this switch, and I pulled off one of the gate triggers, so the right one is the gate trigger, far right one you see there, 
And I also put that through the switch. So I put the gate trigger on one side, power on the other side, the negative terminal. And that disconnects and reconnects the power to this and the trigger to your extra MOSFETs, the 8878 right there. You still have that gate drawdown resistor to your negative. So when you turn off the flashlight or if it gets too hot and this thermal trip goes, it'll disconnect that and that thing will drain down your gate and turn off your light. Let's put it back together. I'm going to tape everything. Tape this so it doesn't short anything out. I'm going to tape the back of the switch that I put in there. So just make sure you tape all your connections. So now the 105D is inside the Skyray King. We've got our latching switch. And so we can get to high no problem. If you leave it in high, you can always come back to high. And then if you switch it to low, you stay on low for three seconds. And next time you come back on, it'll be on low. When it blinks, you turn off the flashlight. And that's how you switch to your other mode, which has strobe. So now you can strobe or you can SOS, which is good because if you do get lost, you can use this as a beacon. So that's how you can add some more functionality to your Skyray King. And we can go back to low, wait for that blink, and then turn off the flashlight. Now you've got medium high, low, and you can lock it to whatever you want. So if you use your flashlight on low a lot, you can leave it on low and always get back to low when you need it. So on high, it's now registering 542, which is pretty good. So now we'll test the Convoy S2 Plus. The Skyray King's putting out 15,660 lumens. Since the lumen output and the illumination level have a linear relationship, you can pretty much assume that the Skyray King is putting out 15,660 lumens based on a simple calculation. So it's working pretty well and it's got a nice high output. We can always get to that high output using the memory and turn it off right away instead of going through medium and low. So now we have 5% dimming and at 5% dimming we have one amp being pulled. So this thing will last 14 hours on low. So that's how you can add memory to your Skyray King, add high pulse width modulation for the dimming, get 5% dimming so you can get it to up to 14 hours of runtime. That just makes it a much better light to use every day. You could actually cut the tip of the switch lower and then mount this rubber lower, but it's going to be harder to turn on and off. I like it up this high because you can turn it on easily, turn it off easily. When you want to put it away in your pocket or in your bag, always turn this half turn so that it can't turn on by accident. It's a good safety feature to unscrew this because if this thing turns on in your pocket or anything, it'll melt plastic. So make sure you unscrew this when you're putting it away in your pocket or in a bag. So now this thing works as well as the Convoy S2 Plus. It's got a clicky switch and you can get to any mode you want. Get to low all the time, get to high all the time, and access strobe and SOS if you're in an emergency and you need that. Thanks for watching and I hope that helps.